Hi, what's going on guys? Chris Rudnick here, and I figure this is a very good time to start the video. I'm waiting for Mark to get out of work so we can finish his car, but I just went to GameStop because I heard Watch Dogs 2 just came out, so I picked up Watch Dogs 2. If you guys are interested in this game, I've been waiting for this game for so long to come out. Um, definitely check out my stream tonight. I'm going to be streaming this game all night. I, I, I'm in love with Watch Dogs, but I needed a new controller because mine was broken. My clutch... I think it's LB, it's broken, it always pops out, so I'm like, fuck it, I'll just go get a controller. Right here, it was 50 bucks, but I guess the guy forgot to charge me because right here, my receipt, it only says Watch Dogs on it, and I paid $63, and this is a brand new game, and he just put the controller in the bag, so I got a free controller. It's a good day so far. Let's wait for Marcus. So this time, we're taking Marcus's truck because I really don't feel like using my gas. And I'll drive this hoop dog back. So apparently this thing is real. Let's see if I can show the face. What the hell is this? Three dollars on it? This is like... <laughs> what? No, what? Dude, that thing's sick. That's a collector's item. So this is Marcus's charger right here. So I said fuck it because my phone's dead. So we we just arrived at the shop. Um, I just went to Tommy's real quick to check out Sutton, but Marcus got a little more tax on this exhaust here. I welded the inside again too. You a little more confident on this now? Yeah, I welded the inside. And some guy at his work actually got all these duds out. So he just got these metric bolts. I don't know what they are. Probably American. They don't what grade are they, dude? I don't fucking know. That's great. So Mark is doing a little test fit before he puts all the bolts in. Before I tighten everything up, I mean. Yeah. That little hanger was fucking you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take that out anyways. Can definitely do it. Yeah. I'm gonna you can just that. leave it in there and tighten it from there. Yeah, I'm gonna take that hanger out though. Yeah. As you can see, there's a bunch of sludge on this hanger and he doesn't even need it anymore. So what he's doing is he I think it's two bell housing. No, it's one bell housing. Two? Two, two bell housing bolts and it's just gonna come right off. And then, then put the bell housing bolts back in. Yeah, obviously. Dude, your motor's so sludgy. That's from all the oil. Yeah. Damn it, I missed it. But everyone always yells at me saying I need motor mounts like when I do drift videos and stuff. But literally when he was loosening the bell housing bolts, this motor was like over here. Not literally, but it flexed pretty hard. All right guys, so right here, this is the bracket he took off. Super sludgy. I got 15 seconds to talk to you guys because we got some follow up in the background, but that's all, just a pulley or fucking, I don't know. So right now he, he's You're too, definitely not supposed to do this. Yeah, you're not supposed to do this, but he's too cheap to buy a new one. I have a new one. I'm oh. saving it for the rebuild over the winter. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? Uh, I plugged up the exhaust holes because, you know, I don't want even more <laughs> fire coming out. Why, dude? Flames. Dude, and you know what we should do? We should sp spray so much brake cleaner in there. And then start it up. And, and then, then start it up. Dude, we definitely should do that. I definitely do not want to do that. I say we do it. Just give it a quick start. Well, you, you already missed it shooting flames before. I know, I saw it on camera. Dude, we definitely should do it. I don't want to. Damn, dude. What if we put it at the end of the exhaust? Do you think it will still f flame it? Oh yeah, I'll do it in the end. All right, sweet. So Marcus did end up spraying some brake cleaner in there. It's definitely going to dry up by the time he finishes, but I honestly think he should just squirt the whole bottle in it. I got a fire extinguisher in my Miata, and shit can go down, but Marcus don't want it. What Marcus is doing right now, so the bolt's going way easier, he's going to dab it in some oil, because he's a dabber, and he's just going to, they're going to go in like butter. Look at that. Smooth like butter. Bit. If only condoms were lubricated like that. Listen to that nice exhaust gasket crunch in there. I know, I hear it. Alright guys, so... Will's the vape god here, but... 
He definitely got me on O's. He definitely got me on every trick in the book. But I'm thinking I got him on cloud. So we're, we're here right now and we're about to do a cloud comp. So here's mine first. All right, guys, now we're going to go at the same exact time, and we're going to blow up. Three, two, one, go. I don't know. It looks so small it on does. the camera. Throw down in the comments whose cloud was bigger. Um, I think it was actually pretty close, so we did a little replay, and we don't know. So throw down in the comments, Will or me. All right, so he ended up getting the manifold on this bolt right here the inside was actually stripped So what he did was he like kind of hammered it in I just fucking rammed it in and just literally rammed it in with the impact But the same thing actually happened to mine like that same bolt Stripped out so me and Dan just put a Healy coil on it But now he's bolting up the downpipe. It's gonna plug in the O2 sensor now And I'm ready for some flames when you put that flex pipe on all right, so Mark has just finished putting everything on. He didn't put the flex pipe on yet, no. but we're just going to start this up. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, plug the math. Yeah. The math. Dude, I can't wait to see a huge flame. We sprayed so much brake cleaner in that, not one flame. Solid. Is it leaking? I don't, I don't feel much. The true test is driving it. Oh, yeah. That sounds like Duke. I don't feel any leaks. I know. Does it go all the way back? Pretty much. It goes to like right where I need to mount the fucking uh... tip. Huh? The tip? Yeah. That's it. No, no, not the tip, but like oh. it's right where the trunk where I need to mount it to the oh yeah back underneath there. Can you hold it up a little bit? Hold it like right there and feed it to me. Like push it. Hold on. Go ahead and push it. I'm using the camera to see what we're doing. Yeah, keep pushing. Keep pushing. Alright, All right, so Marcus, did you actually tighten everything? Yeah. So everything's done? Put the flex pipe on. Wait, hold on, before you, let's just take a look at this. So it went to the down pipe all the way. This is where the cat used to be. Yeah. And then it goes all the way to flex pipe, right to the beginning of the trunk. And he just has um, hose clamps holding it all against the I-beam. Yep. Didn't tighten them that tight. Try not to put a lot of pressure on the flex pipe. No, you gotta wait till that. Oh, you gotta, yeah. And um, people were asking in the comments what wheels these are. These are Rota grids. Yeah. Pretty sick. He got like a really good deal on these. Like, what'd you pay? Like 250 bucks? 200 bucks for these. So that was like. And a lot of people ask what's on my car and the Rota Kushas, I think. That's how you pronounce it? Koshas. I'll show you that in the next clip. So, right here, these are my wheels, the Rota Kushas. I know I'm not saying that right. I know that for 100% fact, but that's what they are. And I also saw a lot of comments about this thing being clean, and it is actually pretty clean if you ask me. Like, it's really not that bad. Like, I can't fit the camera in this rust hole or anything. Let's, let's check out the other side. I actually thought you were being serious. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, we got a little rust right here. Uh, it's a little wavy. Not, not too bad, not too bad. We got some cracked Bondo into rust here. Don't hit it. I'm not, I'm just hitting it with my fingernail, dude. 
It's it's not bad. Like I can pull that bondo off, but I won't. But it's pretty clean if you ask me. Tommy loves this thing. So I was I was just looking at this, and then Marcus told me a little story about when he was at the gym. You care, you care to explain this? All right. So I was at the gym one time, and I come out. My window is down like a little bit, like it is right there. And I come out, and there's a note in the car, and it's. And it says something along the lines, I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was like, don't, it was written in girl's handwriting too, so you obviously know that it was a girl. And, uh, it was like, don't worry about, don't worry about it, no, no fat girls would ever dream of driving in your, uh, Rusty piece of shit. Ra uh, raggy? Yeah, raggy piece of shit. <laughs> Cause you know we live in Torrington and Winstead's right next to us, so Raggy, Raggy originated for Torrington and Winstead. Yeah, if you guys don't know what Raggy means, it just means that you're a bum. You don't really have a car or anything, and you're just a rag bag. You don't do much. You're a stone bag. Stone bag. Stone bag. All right, so Marcus worked at a pizza joint, and instead of buying a welding table, this is his welding table. Hold on to this. So Will is gonna fix this. Reweld it. <laughs> but they sell like carts at Harbor Freight for literally twenty dollars. Like, but he insists on fixing this rusty weld garbage. Well, the yeah, like little tax. Yeah. And then I'll pull this side up. But I'll show you guys the final outcome. All right, guys. So I kind of kicked Will out just because I wanted to weld because I haven't welded in months. But I call this right here. Globbed by Rudnick. Yeah, they're shitty, but I'm gonna stand on this thing when I'm done with it. And she ain't going nowhere, let me tell you. Right. Real talk right here. I'm gonna sit here and weld the shit out of this. Alright guys, so this bitch is all welded. So, these are... These are mine. Yep, no, nope, that's mine. Yep, this one's mine. That's, <laughs> that's Curses, that's mine. That's mine. And then... That's his. And then right down there. That one's shitty, but... Alright, so are you ready to stay on this bad boy? Yeah, I'm ready. Dude, it's pretty solid just from doing that. Oh, dude, it's out of focus. Alright, guys, so we are now on top of this contraption. It's so dangerous. Alright. Alright, let's see it. I think all of them held, dude. <laughs> Look at my weld right here. That was a good one. That's not even your Dude, shag. Dude, But, oh, sorry. All my crappy welds, dude, they didn't move. Look at this one. That's just a... That's just slobber. Look at that. Mean weld. Honestly, I would have laughed if yours, only yeah. yours broke. None of them broke, dude. You want to get a jump on it? No, I'm good. There you guys have it. kind of want to paint this thing and restore it. This little project was a lot, a lot of fun. Dude, why is it not focusing? So Mark's starting up the turd. So loud. Will, open the door. Still sounds as shitty as always. Oh my God. Alright guys, so we're on our way back right now. I'm driving Marcus's truck home because he's driving the Miata. Um, I'm so thankful that I do not have to be in that car right now because it is like a half an hour ride from our house. But I am very, very, very thankful because that thing is like, it's not even, it, 
it's not even like the loudness that bothers me. It's the drone. I hate when cars drone. Like it's just like ear piercing. But it's so hard to keep up with these maniacs because all they want to do is speed race. And I'm in this slow ass truck and I can't do shit. Dude, what? Did you see when that came on? Saw what? This came on. Oh crap! I didn't even notice that. That must have like. Oh, God damn it. Well. Did I? Dude, how was how was the ride? Loud? Oh, it fucking sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I Because he's fucking robbing the crap out of my truck! <laughs> Dude, I was trying to race me in my truck. The thing's fucking always bouncing off rev limiter. It's so hard to keep up with these maniacs because all they want to do is speed race. And I'm in this slow ass truck and I can't do shit. You can't drive this thing fast. It's a truck. That's why I was driving slow so much fast, man. Because I want to fucking fly fast. <laughs> yeah, but then he started driving fast. I purposely tell him every time in that not to romp him. What did you do? Romp him. I just kept up with you. <laughs> so it's bad? It smells like crap. I knew it was going to. So what, are you going to keep it like that or no? I'm going to have to finish it off now. Yeah. Is there a part three to this? Probably. Part three. Look at... Will got another new whip. He traded in his 2017 Expedition and he got this A6. Not really. Look at this thing, dude. Will's going through more cars than I am, but they're all nicer. They're all nicer and way more expensive. Where you be, where you be getting your money, dude? Where are you getting your money? Drugs. Selling drugs? Yeah. <laughs> That's what my mom uh, So I'm leaving. I got, I'm getting out of Will's Audi. Fucking asshole here. But, bye Will. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And stay tuned for tomorrow. Or, yes, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, I might be trading the Miata for something sick. And it's a lot cooler and a lot better. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.